What's up, DC fans? This is James at Digital Charcuterie. Thank you so much for watching. Shout out to all of our subscribers. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, give us a like and hit that subscribe button. Then click on that bell so you get notified whenever we release a new video. Today, we're sticking with DC. We've got some Shazam 2 Fury of the Gods news to go over. This movie somehow went from June 2023 to December 2022. You're telling me these other movies needed time for special effects but shazam was so far ahead in special effects you can release it six months earlier sure whatever it takes of course the day of aquaman 2 which is now in march the plot for shazam 2 fury of the god is said to be that shazam takes on hespera and calypso daughters of the greek god atlas and one of these goddesses is going to be betrayed by rachel zegler of west side story fame and she of course is going to be snow white in the upcoming snow white adaptation by Disney was recently interviewed by Empire Magazine where they asked her about working with Gal Gadot and the meeting with her for the first time to which she replied I'm not going to say much but it wasn't our first meeting so now this has led to much speculation that Gal Gadot is in Shazam 2 Fury of the Gods you combine that with what Zachary Levi is saying about how he really admires Gal Gadot he says I think getting a cameo from anybody would be super cool but I just think Gal Gadot is so effervescent she has such a charm and she seems like a really cool broad like she was in the Israeli army she's a mom and I'm like you seem like you're grounded and cool and you're Wonder Woman and you rock and I think it would be really funny to have the 14 year old Billy Batson inside of Shazam that's really awkward around this beautiful Amazonian I just think it would be really awesome now if this were to be true you would think Zachary Levi would bite his tongue a little bit and not divulge such information but maybe also the hardest things to find are what are in plain sight so maybe that is what he is doing here I have to say Say this though Gal Gadot is going to be in the Flash movie we know that we know that Wonder Woman and Aquaman are in the Flash movie and we know that there was that Superman cameo if you can call it that in the first Shazam neck down no face Henry Cavill whatever but throwing Wonder Woman in Shazam 2 Fury of the Gods makes a lot of sense first of all she's an Amazonian she is a god secondly this could be what leads into Wonder Woman 3 DC films as great as they are they haven't had the connective tissue I know a lot of complaints with Wonder Woman 2 aside from the real complaints but the underlying complaint was that there's no connective tissue it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things and neither did Aquaman but you put Wonder Woman in Shazam 2 you establish her character within this universe and a larger scale you lead us into Wonder Woman 3 we know we've been reporting and there's speculations that Henry Cavill is going to return as Superman but there is that chance that he does not return as Superman and we have Supergirl coming up in the flash yes but Supergirl is not the face of your franchise is not the face of DC however Gal Gadot having such a fantastic first film a universally loved first film which Zack Snyder was a part of perhaps this is Warner Brothers and DC's attempt at putting Wonder Woman in this film as her being the new face of DC films. Batman is one thing, Superman might not be around, but you have Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman as the face of it, and she's the connective tissue for all of these going on. And then if you can get Cavill and you can bring Ben Affleck back, you can get that Trinity film that we've been hearing so much about also. So I think this just makes a lot of sense going forward. You put Gal Gadot in as Wonder Woman. She is the front and center face right now. She is the glue of the DCEU. And Shazam 2 now going ahead of Aquaman 2, maybe that tells us something as well because maybe an Amazonian Atlantean showdown is about to go down. Could they be setting that up on the DC slate? Because we know we've heard that things are in order over there. And these delays, you know, weren't very promising, but maybe this is what they're doing. Maybe they're adding little tidbits here and there and there is a plan and they just need more time to execute that plan. And the first step of that plan is Black Adam, Shazam 2, Wonder Woman, and then the Aquaman story. And then obviously the Flash is going to do what the Flash does. Obviously the Flash doesn't affect anything in Shazam or Aquaman, or maybe it does. You just don't know it because the future has already been decided. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Is Gal Gadot appearing in Shazam 2 Fury of the Gods as a Wonder Woman? Do you, would you like to see that? Do you think it shouldn't see that? Do you think this is one step closer to the Snyderverse happening? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. I'm James, and until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.